acronym for fitness is you take that N. To be fit over the course of a lifetime, you take N squared. It's neurology and nutrition. Neurology comes first. You must have a healthy nervous system. You live your life through your nervous system. Your nervous system, it must be healthy for you to adapt to your environment. Your neurology comes first. It's the first thing if you want to be fit for the long haul. We see people that they want to exercise and they think it's all about exercise being fit. Have you ever seen somebody with nerve damage try and exercise a muscle? They can't do it. Somebody with nerve damage that's trying to exercise a muscle with poor neurology, it's like, okay, Mary, let me raise your arm for you. Let's see if we can contract that muscle for you. Okay, let's contract it down because the muscle, in order for it to function, needs nerve supply. The heart, for it to function, needs nerve supply. Neurology comes first. And then, obviously, that's why we're here, right? Chiropractically, anyway keeping your nervous system healthy. Then there's the nutrition. Eating well, and it's really simple, right? You choose quality calories over empty calories every time you're faced with a choice. QCs over ECs. It's really simple. It's not like it's rocket science. And then you have endurance, strength, and structure. The rest of the word fitness. Endurance, doing cardiovascular exercise to keep your heart fit. Strength training. Right? Well, a lot of people don't do that because we've all seen grandma or grandpa or an older person of some kind struggle to get out of a chair. Right? And so you can't wait until you lose your strength to get it back. Mm -hmm. You have to keep yourself strong. That's why the strength, strength and independence go hand in hand. And then there's structure. Right? The bookends. You have the neurology on the front end, the structure, the spine, and nervous system on the back and those two book of the pillars are essential for you to have good quality of life as you age. You know, we see these older people, some of them, many of them, where they're bent over and crooked, right? How many of you have seen that? Mm -hmm. They don't get like that overnight. That's a, not an overnight event. That's a process that literally happens slowly over time. And you think about all those little soccer game falls and gymnastic falls and basketball falls and learning to walk falls as a child and you think about all the accumulation of traumas to the spine over time if you never get it taken care of and you wait for a crisis it's no wonder we see a generation of people that are walking around like this that's not normal aging mm -hmm.